Oh yeah. How's it going everybody? Transitioning from Dirt Bike Jay back to Skate Park Jay. We're here today at one of Connecticut's newest concrete creations. The city of Naugatuck let the skaters have at it. And over the spring, they threw together a pretty darn sweet bowl slash plaza slash quarter as skate park. And you may have seen it in that drone shot, but they do have a freaking capsule. We've got one. Connecticut has one now. I'm always excited to see one of those in person because they're very rare in the Northeast. We got the Monday machine. Bird spokes are still ripping. I'm gonna throw the GoPro on and give you a quick little tour. More than the old legs. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have been here once before. We were just rolling around, you know. I had to come explore the new park. Whoa. But it is very fun. The transition, just because it was kind of old school skaters that made it, are a little steep. That doesn't mean it's not fun. When it's not populated, you could ride the whole park at once, which is pretty cool. There's a lot going on though. Major shout out to the builders. Even though it's not quite my style. See, there's a lot of vert on these transitions. Let me get you in there. The deep ends are pretty solid, but some spots don't quite make sense. That smaller section, that's a four foot with about a foot of vert on it. But it's whatever, we're gonna be flowing. Before we get on with the stunts, I gotta give a massive shout out to today's sponsor, NordVPN. Since I'm always on the hunt for new skate parks, I am constantly on the road. Sometimes I gotta take some chances and take advantage of some public Wi-Fi in order to get these daily videos to your video screen. And that's where Nord really comes in clutch. When your browser is well connected to their VPN, all of your traffic gets encrypted, so any potential onlookers are gonna have a real hard time spying and trying to get a hold of your information. And even if you use it while you're at home, it helps disrupt trackers that are built into pretty much every web page. It just helps you browse a little more anonymously and stop those greedy ad companies getting a hold of your data. Another perk of using Nord while you're at home, it helps prevent DDoS attacks. Back in the day, I used to be pretty involved in the video gaming scene. Every once in a while, my team and I would end up beating down the wrong person. Wow! They'd get a little upset and try to shut down my internet. But since I was on a VPN, I couldn't get a hold of my IP. I was safe to continue my pub stomping. Feel free to use my link that's on the screen and in the description below to give Nord a shot. They've got a 30 day money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied. But I can't see how you won't be. If you browse and safer, you'll be undercover. Sore losers won't be able to take down your internet. And you'll be able to upload your daily vlogs from wherever the wind takes you. Thank you very much to Nord for sponsoring this video. And now we're getting into the stunts. I'm gonna start you off with a launch. Mini takeoff. I don't really know where I wanted to go now. <laughs> oh, we're hitting the oppo capsule. Oh. <laughs> Not very high at all, but <laughs> whatever. The close one, you see that guy? He didn't even look. People these days. Unbelievable. Pocket man. That hip right there is so steep. Honestly, the sketchiest part of that whole thing. <laughs> like not allowed to hit the coping, otherwise I would have landed in the depths. So far so good though. I meant to follow that manual up with more line, but there was really nowhere to go. I'm gonna try the other direction now though. I think there's somewhere to go there. Blaming the number of tries for that. This freshly laid pickleball court. The fumes feel like they're melting my braid. <laughs> but the show must go on. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, the fumes were so bad I woke up and I was at a different skate park. And I somehow got shaved. I guess we'll make do with what we got. Nice empty park, more bowl action. I've got some ideas involving that J quarter. I know we've been manualing around a lot today, but I got another quick one for you. It'll be worth it. Don't you worry. Oh, with the non bonk to the grass. Shout out to when Aaron beat me in a game of bike on that trick. Actually, he got an extra letter on me. I think I lost B-I-K-E-R to bike.
All right, that's enough tech bike for one video. I've got an extreme stunt. It's been buzzing around my mind. It involves trash can landing and a very small launch. And when I say small, one wheel width, hardly. I think I want to jump from that corner over there into this, and then jump that little one foot kicker in a stunt loop and land over there somewhere in the mud. That's the idea. I think we could do it. We got the MX Horse ATV soundtrack going in the background here. I think it's gonna get the trash can lander nice and smooth. Oh, it's totally gonna flip. All right, here goes something. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't think that was gonna work. We survived. I honestly did not have faith in that little booter, but it worked. We'll get a round two. Sorry, I feel like my angle choice was questionable lately, but it's okay. That is fun stuff. Definitely woke me up a little bit. Look at, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, it is so abrupt and there's a little kink like right here. So it feels like it's gonna buck me. But it didn't. Thank you very much, Milford Skate Park. And now, I'm gonna debut a secret that I've been keeping for a little bit. Well, not that long, maybe like a week. Highly classified intel, so do not tell anybody. This is just for you, the one person watching this video. I bought a new house. I mean van. I mean van house. Look at it in all its glory. We got a fresh paint job. Look at that grill. We have a Dodge emblem now. Let's check out the interior real quick. Oh, watch your step. Yeah, it's super cozy in here. Going for the industrial metal flooring going on. I'm trying to get in here somehow. Let's check out the true interior. The lock is a little, uh... Oh. Oh, yeah. Forgot. <laughs> it feels like home already. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I've been in Connecticut for a couple weeks now. You know, I'm always out there browsing the marketplace looking for a slightly bigger situation. I still haven't really debuted my current van setup, but let's just say it's slightly smaller than uh, this find. Got a bit of stuff to sort through. <laughs> oh no, this is looking insane. It's looking way more insane than I originally wanted it to. <laughs> but look at that. I don't have to crouch. Look at that freaking clearance. Pretty much I just need an air mattress and some dirt bikes in here. And we're good to go. Honestly, I was having a bit of trouble trying to focus on riding with all the freaking things I have to do this van buzzing through my head. Aside from that whole front step situation, mechanically and like structurally, the van is freaking dialed. There's a gem that I found on Marketplace with 100,000 miles on a beautiful five-cylinder diesel. Before I got to the first skate park, I spent the entire morning ripping out all the shelving, getting everything listed on Marketplace, taking all of the random electro things out. And then I did a bunch of cleaning just so I could figure out how much rust and stuff that I actually have to deal with. That's where I discovered the first situation. Then a bunch of little surface rust, that's not a big deal. Speaking of that first situation, if you're anywhere in the Northeast and you are a good fabricator that can make that not fall apart anymore, shoot me a DM on Instagram. There's still quite a few things to do. Have to get it registered, get the emissions done, get rid of that wall, which is not a big deal, and I really want to sell on a marketplace, but I don't think anybody buys those. And then the build will commence. Hopefully a slightly more legitimate build. I'm gonna take my time with this one. The last one was a weak rush job. Now I'm a little more experienced and I might even consider making a little video series about it. Or just one huge video documenting everything. I'm gonna make it good, don't you worry. But yeah, sorry for all the talking and not so much writing. This is what's been happening. If you managed to enjoy the video, I'd appreciate if you dropped a like. And tune in next time for when I hopefully am riding more bikes and doing less talking and this van is a little more together or dismantle. I'll see you then. Bye.